Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we are going to be learning about sizing your images with some basic CSS. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below, and let's begin. CSS has a property called width that controls an element's width. Just like with fonts, we'll use px pixels to specify the image's width. For example, if we wanted to create a CSS class called larger-image that gave HTML elements a width of 500 pixels, we'd use the following code. In between the style, open and close, you have dot larger dash image which basically declares it and then inside the curly brackets you have width and then colon 500 picks semicolon so the objective is create a class called smaller image and use it to resize the image so that it's only 100 pixels wide so we're gonna go inside the style tags which you have the closing style tag here and the opening style tag there. And since we're already declaring red text, I'm going to go next to that. I like to keep all of the similar like declarations and everything in a group together, generally speaking, because I've done that with Unity before with C Sharp. So here we are here with uh, CSS now. So we're going to declare smaller image. So instead of larger image, you put dot smaller dash image and then we're going to do space curly open it'll close automatically hit enter to return this new space there and we're going to type in width make sure the spelling is correct there colon w i d t h and instead of 500 pixels we're going to do 100 100 px semicolon so now your image element should have the class smaller image. So now they want us to go down to the image element. So let's look and see if we can find one that has an image. Well, I mean, I see the image here. Mm. Class ch -ch 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 main click here to view more cat photos and then here is the image right here I'm sorry I got a little bit wrapped up in the code sometimes that happens so you have the opening image here and then it's self-closing tag so self-closing would be the end of that arrow there now it's in between these like a I believe it's like anchor tag I'm not positive I don't remember there was an earlier lesson so anyways here we are inside the image element which is this one and we need to add class of smaller image now this again is calling back to previous classes which is previous videos so we're gonna take a stab at it because let's see what we remember pop quiz how do you call a class so let's do um, let's do a space here see what's up and I'm going to do class class equals and then I believe there's quotation marks smaller dash image yeah okay I think that's how you call it and I believe we called it I do see the image is very small and I could be um, incorrect on the code here specifically I'm not sure if there's a space there and I'm not sure if there's a space there. This is more of like a formatting issue. But we did pass the test. I'm not going to run the test yet because I want to get some help. I want to get a hint and I want to double check what is that code supposed to look like. So let's see here. For sizing your images, first create your class in your style tag. So we, we did do that. Excuse me. 
you can then add the class to your image. Okay, so there's not supposed to be any spaces here. We want to learn this the correct way. So it is class equals, and they do want it before the SRC tag there. So class equals all with no spaces in between. So we'll go back to our code. And so we were we were pretty close with that. You know, I haven't done coding in a couple of days, so I'm glad that I retained some of this. Class equals quote smaller image. And now we're gonna run the test. And you can see the objectives completed and this challenge has been terminated. We are now 20% of the way complete with the basic CSS section of this course. So if you've been following along, give yourself a pat on the back, good job. I'm gonna take us to the outro. Don't forget to submit and go to the next challenge. And thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. I am Findemis, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.